That's my best friend. Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Shonda. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back. Welcome back, you guys. So today we are going to be talking about, if you watched the video last week, I talked about doing a video for making the backpacks this week. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on the backpacks and the duffel bags. Now there's two ways you can do the um, backpacks and duffel bags, depending on how um, extreme you want to get with it but I'm going to show you the easiest way and then I'm going to show you um, another way you can do it if you want to be extreme as far as putting images like on the face words on the pockets and things like that so we will talk about that but first things first let's get started with what I am drinking today I am so tired you guys so I worked out today, I did legs, and I don't know, I'm tired because it was just a hectic, hectic course, but I had some caffeine earlier this morning, but today I'm going to be drinking this, it's called Bang, never tried it before, but it's wild, wilding watermelon, I don't need any more caffeine, but I do want to get out a little bit today, so I do need something. So this says it has super creatine. So we're going to see how it tastes. I'm loving it. It's no calories. So I don't know how the um, caffeine is going to affect me. I did have a cup of coffee. That was probably about, let's see, um, this morning, probably right 8 o'clock or something like that. It is now almost two o'clock here on the west coast pacific time so i did wash it off already always always you guys make sure you wash this part off because they get so dirty and just being transported and everything it's just so dirty sometimes like little bugs and stuff could be sitting around in there so just make sure you always rinse that part off because some of your drink always gets in the like the little crevices around the lip of the can so you want to always wash that off so i'm going to be able to pour a little bit in this glass like i said no calories at all i love that this is 16 full ounces i did get this at my local kroger store and i think it was on sale for like um I think I want to say two for five or something like that or two for four. So let's try it. Cheers. It's pretty good. Kind of tastes like the um, the tea. I think it's called leaf tea or something like that. Watermelon flavor. It just tastes like tea. So that's pretty good. I'm just interested to see what type of effect it's going to have on me. So anyway, let's get into it, you guys. So today we are going to focus on the backpacks alone. So I'm going to disable everything else. I'm just going to do this test run with you guys because um, I just kind of like found some artwork just to show you guys. Um... So first things first, if you want to, which I found very easy for me to do, and it will get um, results for most of your items, you want to do the bigger sizes. So once you get your artwork, you can resize it. Make sure it's a PNG because that will resize for just about any size. So make sure it's a PNG, a vector image. Um, Usually I will put it at 79 by 7,900 pixels, 7,900 by 7,900 pixels. So I know that is going to get me the most bang for my image. So I'm going to get um, most of my images completely filled up all over the item so that I won't have to do a lot of resizing. So the only thing that is really going to affect is like, you know, the first row that I found, like your hats, 
um, t-shirts and everything because I found like on the t-shirts when you use these larger sizes you have to go back in and make sure that they are fitting within the guidelines of the um, of where the image is supposed to be so your hats is also going to be the image is always going to be a little bigger so you got to go in and scale that down and then basically pretty much all of the other um, items that's listed you don't really have to do anything so let me show you that so I already got my image and everything ready for you guys so let's go and add my image so let me move myself over a little bit and I did put the description for this drink if you guys want to try it out it is on Amazon so you can um, click the link in the description box that I show you it is pretty good it's pretty refreshing too so I don't want to drink a lot yet because I don't want to be like too like all over the place so let's go ahead and add the artwork all right let's see. my computer's going a little slow today let's see what's happening okay here we go so let's see here we go my YouTube test as you can see the size that I'm using is 7950 by 8900 now I did say 7900 by 7900 so that is pretty much the size you want to use but this one just is just a little bigger because of the shape that it was so I didn't want it to seem like it was going to be too like skinny like the black dots I didn't want them to look too skinny or whatever so I kind of um, made my dimension 7950 by 8900 but if you choose a vector image and a PNG you shouldn't have an issue of resizing it to whatever you want anyway so let's go ahead and upload this Let's give it a name. I'm just going to put YouTube test for right now. Um, you can put your tags in as you wish. We'll wait for it to upload. Let me drink a little bit more of my tea. I hope everyone is doing well and making short shirts and everything else on the site, but... I have been working on my uh, images trying to get them up because I want to try to be at a thousand by um, December 31st that is my goal so right now I think I'm almost at 400 so I've been trying to like list items daily so if you're gonna if you're gonna be on this challenge with me I'm not gonna like bug you and everything but you know you could just check in with me you can put comments below let me know if you're going to be in a challenge just be like just put yes challenge challenge no put challenge me put challenge me in the um comments if you're going to join the challenge with me so the goal is to get a thousand items on your site before december 31st okay that's all that's all i'm asking because guys the more things we get on the um site the more sales we're going to have all right, so I want you to keep that in mind. All right, so I have my image up. So like I was telling you, like these first few, and this one seems like it's pretty much in place, but let me show you. Okay, see how you have to like move it up a little bit so it could be like within the guidelines. I mean, you don't have to, but I like to come in there and just make sure that it is right there in the... Um, at the very top see how when I do it vertical it'll just go back down but I guess you don't have to but I don't know I've just been doing this forever so um, I always like to make sure but I wanted to show you that one so you so you basically have to do that for this one the first three are the ones you have to deal with when you use the larger sizes because the hat you're going to be scaling it down and then this one is just going to be the same like the first one you just want to make sure it's kind of like close to those guidelines so yeah so that is that I just wanted to let you guys know 
but like I said, I'm going to, well, you know what, since everything is pretty much enabled, I'm just going to leave it like that because it's just going to be a test. But what I wanted to tell you, when you do the bigger sizes like that, it's going to cover up everything. See like this chiffon tops, most of the sizes are not going to cover this because this is kind of like a bigger image. But when you do the 7900 by 7900, you're going to cover this, you're going to cover the dresses. So all the rest of these are pretty much going to be covered. And look how beautiful that looks. You're going to be able to co cover the A-line dress, the magnets, of course. And look at your mouse pad and desktops. Perfect. Perfect. Go ahead and enable those if you don't have them. And look at the shower curtain. Now these I love. I love the shower curtain so much. So it's going to be not only the shower cut curtain, but the duvet covers and um, the comforters. So this is a pretty nice um, pattern to use, especially for like home decor and things like that. There's your mini skirt. Now, I would definitely wear this mini skirt because you could, you know, I'm not sure how the quality is or whatever, but I think the design is really cute. You can put like a red shirt with the white shirt. And then these travel mugs look exquisite. I love it. So that is the key with the, when you use the bigger sizes, um, it's easy to cover everything. Look at your hardcover journals and your spiral notebook. I don't know if you guys watched one of the videos before. Um, if you do some designs, you can put them on this side. Usually put them on the right side. I think that's the front of the cover. Yes. So you will put them on this side. But if you want to get into more details, you can go ahead and like put words on here and everything. You just got to use the um, templates that they have. And I'm going to show you that for the book bag. Um, for the backpack so you can know exactly how to use that so the bath mask see how everything is just fully covered that's what you want to have you have your mask here so I'm just enabling everything um the only thing it doesn't cover is this jigsaw puzzle but I would not want this on a jigsaw puzzle because that would just be so irritating trying to put that together that's just I wouldn't even no, just keep that disabled. But if you're going to focus on jigsaw puzzles, you just want to go in and see what the size is. So for the jigsaw puzzle, the size is going to be, see, it's bigger than my size, the 7900 by 7900. This is 9075 by 6201. So that's why it doesn't cover that one. But I wouldn't use this pattern for that jigsaw puzzle anyway. So that's cool with me. All right. Um, let's see here. So we're going to click on that. So did we pass the backpack? No, not yet. Okay, so here's our backpack here. See how it's fully covered? Now, you guys, when you go into the backpack, you will have all of the, you can't really see them with this pattern, but you will have all the dotted lines and guidelines and things like that for like the pocket and the size and things like that. So what you could do is download the template. And, you know, if you want to be real detailed about it, like putting words and things like that, you can download the template and then just follow that. But I'm just showing you this. This is the easiest way to do it. But those, I feel like that could be for people who want to, like, design their own backpack line and things like that. But, yeah, it's going to take you some time to do it just depending on how artistic you are. See, this is the duffel bag and the and the backpack, so they look really cute. And that's all you need to do. And it's quicker. When you find the size, this huge size, it's quicker because you can just slap it on there and just go. So you're going to do digital art, no, and then you have the rights to this, and then you save your work. So yeah, you guys, that's that's really all you have to do. It's not it's not rocket science. You just gotta make sure that the size is right. So we will have this upload.
Okay. All right. Let's see what the results are. Okay. So, yeah, I was doing this as a test, but um, I may go back in and just change the title because I actually like this pattern. So, my computer is going very slow. And this would actually look cute on like a black hat too. So, yeah, that is the pattern and it's, it's pretty much covering everything, every item on this panel. My computer is going really slow. But anyway, so yeah, so that's what you would do if you want to just have kind of like the pattern for the whole thing. So let me show you, um, let me see. So if you wanted to do a book bag sort of like, I want to say something, well, they just didn't do it correctly for this Jordan bag. But they did like the number 23 correctly or something like this. If you wanted to just place this mouth on the pocket and have this here or have like this little mushroom um, little design artwork here on the pocket. Now you would have to do something more intricate. So you will have to go over to if you go over to Red Bubble, um, you can put in like dimensions or templates. Red bubble templates and you this is for the backpack so what you will have to do is download the template and then where you want the um, artwork to go you have to kind of figure it out like this here is the face so you would download your template you will put it into your whatever design platform you're using and you will kind of make it like you know I guess see-through so you can kind of like see where you're placing the artwork and then once you finish designing everything, you can go ahead and save it and then place it in, into the artwork. Now, for this one, you would definitely probably have to be focused on book bags by themselves. Or, um, But I, all in all, I think you will have to just look at every item and see how it looks and then kind of like disable it from there. But yeah, I feel like well, no, no, because you can change the, like, you can have, you can have, like, we just did the large item for everything else, but then when it comes down to book bags, you can go back and say, like, say you were finished and you're using the big um, image for these, like we just did. So what you could do, so your book bag, because you want to have, like, say a name on the pocket, you will go back to edit. So you will go back to edit and then you will scroll down to the book bag or the backpack. Let's see. It's going so slow. Okay. Slide it up a little bit. All right, so we'll go right back up to the backpack here and we'll hit edit. And then we'll scroll down and we will hit replace image. And then that's when you would go into your um, saved images, which you have saved from the template and replace that backpack with that. So that's how you would do that. All right. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Remember, if you're going to do the challenge with me, just put put challenge me in the comments. So I will know that there are people joining me in this challenge because I think this is going to be cool. And then it's going to also be like motivation. So whenever I check in, I'll let you guys know on a weekly basis, like how far I got. So. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye.